We all know now, we shouldn't all know now, that Donald Trump has been indicted on the federal crimes. Now, my last video, I, I said we shouldn't be celebrating this. We should be taking this very seriously. And more importantly, we need to make sure that we are, what's the word I'm looking for? Incredibly cautious. But there is something, something that's been bothering me along up with all of this. It's not the fact that only, not only that Donald Trump has committed these crimes, it's the fact that this is exactly, 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 exactly what Donald Trump tried to accuse Hillary Clinton, the former Secretary of State, of doing. This is exactly what he accused her, her of. Exactly what swayed, well, among other things, that swayed the 2016 election away from Hillary Clinton and going towards Donald Trump. I'm about to read you an article from John Pavlowitz. I've re re referenced him in videos in the past. And <laughs> all you MAGAs are going to hate me for it. You're probably going to laugh, but I would seriously think that you would take it seriously. Because as the article says, Hillary Clinton was right. There's an old saying that when the horse is dead, dismount. The MAGA myth of Hillary Clinton's wickedness is a dead horse, conservative friends. It's time to get off that rotting corpse of a delusion and join us in reality. And the reality is that Donald Trump has been indicted twice, and he's most likely going to be indicted again. He's been impeached twice. He's been found liable in, a, in court for sexual abuse and defamation. And yet here you all are, steadfast in your allegiance, unwavering in your support, striding in your adoration. Not only that, but despite the fact that she was investigated relentlessly over years by a single indictment, you still have the incomprehensible gall to say with a straight face, Hillary would have been worse. Even now, with all we've endured as a nation at hand, even with everything these investigations have already unearthed, even with his documented incompetence during the greatest public health crisis in our lifetimes that have left us irreparably fractured and buried in grief, even with the refusal to accept a political defeat that threw us in chaos, even with the disaster of January 6, 2021, fully exposing his sickening, deranged, excuse me, disregard for America's elections, its fundamental system of protection, and its constitution. Even though he is facing pros prosecution for the high crimes against this nation as its commander-in-chief, you still insist in defying him as a patriot and vilifying Hillary Clinton. The idea that she would have been remotely capable of the kind of wanton recklessness, legislative overreach, and willful lawlessness we've endured at the hands of the traitorous, belligerent, serial predator you hitched your identity to would be laughable if it weren't so sad. I know that they're screaming, lock her up, for years, you need to believe the right-wing fantasy of Hillary in order to protect yourself from your culpability in creating this national MAGA cancer and launching this global joke of a president and, do and doing such damage to so many people. But this is all really quite simple. Hillary Clinton would never have been capable of the malice and malpractice that Donald Trump has been capable of. 
simply because she's a rational, level-headed, intelligent, articulate, faithful, compassionate person. And Donald Trump is none of those things. He never belonged there. He was never emotionally or intellectually or morally deserving of the presidency. And for whatever reason, you choose incorrectly. More than that, you refuse to admit it. Hillary Clinton, she's not perfect. But here's some things we do know. She wouldn't have engaged in middle of the night, all caps, social media rants. She wouldn't have called Nazis and racists very fine people. She wouldn't have played patty cake with Vladimir Putin. She wouldn't have publicly praised Kim Jong-un. She wouldn't have emboldened racists to march through the streets in the light of day. She wouldn't have called the NRA in the wake of unrelenting mass shootings that have cost American children's lives. She wouldn't have tripped over herself for praise and cred and affirmation like some insecure middle schooler after a natural disaster in this country. She wouldn't be holding rallies in a desperate attempt to gather a choir of sociopaths to shower her with adoration. She wouldn't have to attack the integrity of the free press, the FBI, the judiciary. She wouldn't have stumbled, shoved, and faked Take away moments of inspirational diplomacy because she lacked basic knowledge of the issues and or the ability to be decent. She wouldn't have a revolving door cabinet filled with white supremacists, creationists, and flat earthers. She wouldn't have lied repeatedly, ignored science, and turned wearing masks into a tribal political statement. And the bottom line is that Hillary was right. She was right when she warned us about Donald Trump, who was in bed with foreign adversaries. She was right when she said our election process was being irreparably compromised. She was right when she noted his cruelty, his impulsiveness, his recklessness. She was right when she, when she suggested he was beholden to murderous foreign dictators instead of the American people. She was right when she told us that he was dangerously incapable of self-control on social media. She was right when she pointed out the toxic hatred that was cultivating and releasing in, in people. She was right when she noticed the way he was dragging national discourse into the, in the toilet. Hillary Clinton is not being indicted again. Donald Trump is. She deserves an apology from you trying to make this about her. I don't hope any, hold out any hope that that will come, as I know how deep tribalism is, and how difficult it is for us to admit when we're wrong. But if you care deeply about this nation as you claim to, you'll dismount the dead horse of myth of Trump patriotism and Hillary's treason, and you'll stand on your own two feet. First things first, John Popovitz, thank you for that article, and it was a good one. But I'm not holding out any kind of hope of contrition from the Donald Trump clan, or the Donald Trump cult, I should say. Trumpers, they're impossible to talk to. Ever since the announcement that Donald Trump was about to be indicted the first time in New York, we've seen nothing but 
threats. Now that's gotten feral. The indictment is feral in this particular case. The threats continue. They still, in the, the language of this um, article, they are still on the dead horse. And they do not want to get off it. Everyone else is guilty, not Donald Trump. Everyone else did this, but Donald Trump. And every time I keep asking for evidence that he did get authorization to uh, the, the declassify the fellow, the classify the papers, that he did say I did classify them. Here's the evidence I did. He shows nothing. His cult shows nothing. Nothing but veiled threats of terrorism and violence in this country and visited on Americans. They might as well make themselves the new Al-Qaeda or the new Taliban. What are you going to do? Are you going to hijack a plane and fly it into the White House? Is that how far you guys are so far gone? All for the sake of Donald Trump? You're going to burn this country down. You're going to kill American citizens all for the sake of Trump. That's wrong. That is so incredibly wrong, in my view. But here's the real problem with this. You want to try to blame Hillary Clinton for all this, but you're not going to uh, say anything about Trump. As I said earlier in this video, everything Donald Trump has accused Hillary Clinton of with the emails and everything else, Donald Trump did. And again, as the article mentioned earlier, Hillary Clinton has been investigated. Nothing was found. They want to chalk it up to corruption. Not true. Donald Trump is going to be, has been indicted. He's going to trial. Now, you want, now, if you want to threaten this country, threaten its people for the sake of one man, then you, I'm going to just say it. I don't care how it makes me sound. I don't care how it makes me look. I don't care if anyone's who's watching this. You threaten this country for the sake of Donald Trump. I don't recognize you as Americans. Now, I have got no love for Hillary Clinton but I know that Hillary Clinton wouldn't be this stupid. Donald Trump is. And if you're willing to burn our country, to kill people in our country, as Andy Biggs yesterday in, on Twitter said, it's time for war, or words to that effect, using the word war, you're not Americans in my eyes anymore. You're nothing more than terrorists. It's a shame that you have to destroy your lives for a man who do everything they can he can to save his own. It's just a shame. All because you believe the lies about Hillary Clinton, but you won't won't believe the facts we know of Donald Trump. CTP, you know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left. Justice to the right.